Hello, good evening. Good evening, can you hear me? Good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you, Fatima? I am fine. Good, good. That's great to hear. How about you? How about you, Suma? How are you today? Fine, fine, thank you, teacher. All right, yes, it's good to hear you. So, uh, welcome again. And uh, in today's uh, lesson, we are going to learn about our neighborhood, okay? Our neighborhood, su colonia, okay? So, in today's lesson, we, we talk about our neighborhood. So, yes, let's do this. Okay. All right. Just a second, guys. All right, here we go. All right, so we're going to describe how our neighborhood is like. All right, so we talk about the, we describe it, we give adjectives. We say like, it's safe, it's small, you know, it's big. Uh, my neighbors, you know, my neighbors are loud and so on. So we learn about that and we also learn about there is and there are, all right? Great, so let's do this. Let's check uh, a conversation and then uh, we, have, uh, we have more practice, all right? Using words like there is and there are, all right? Fine, let me share my screen with you. Les vamos a compartir pantalla también, okay? So let's begin. All right, good. So let's look at this conversation. Um, I'm going to ask uh, Suma to help me reading this conversation. So uh, let me full screen it. And uh, yes, let's do it. So uh, I think I'm gonna be like Jack, okay? I, I'm going to ask the questions, all right? And uh, Suma, you respond to my questions. All right, so first, he goes like this. Excuse me, I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pin Street. Oh, good. And uh, is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there is a barber shop in the shopping center too. Oh, sorry. I, I just say thank yeah. you. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, read it again, please. Okay. By, by the way, there's a barber, barber shop in the shopping center too. All right. A barber shop? All right. <laughs> Why a barber <laughs> shop? I need a haircut. Okay. Great. <laughs> Great. Very good. So look, uh, here in this lesson, we have, in this conversation, we have uh, these words, neighbor. Okay. I'm your new okay. neighbor. Who is, the, who is your neighbor? Hey, your neighbor. Yes, Say again. Does he know? Yes, is the person that lives next to you. A neighbor, it's a person that lives next to you. So, uh, all right, and let's check more vocabulary. Here we have a grocery store. Do you understand a grocery store? Uh, tienda. Yes, yes, you know, like a small store where people do the groceries you know where they uh where they sell uh things for for your house like for like food and things like those yes all right oh look pine street this is un nombre de una calle si ficticio verdad pine street you say pine street pine, pine street yes and uh 
a, a laundromat. Do you understand a laundromat? Lavanderia. Yes, yes, where you, you know, where you do the laundry, you take your clothes, you know, there so they can wash them. All right, then um, here, all right, well, I think there is one across from the shopping center and a barber shop. Do you understand what a barber shop is? Alberia. Yes, where you get your hair cut. I need to find a barber shop, but there isn't any. Okay, do uh, you guys have any questions about this conversation, about the vocabulary, new words in here? Do you? No. Anybody? Okay, so I guess we will continue. I, I have a question. Say. Yes, yes, please, go ahead. See, uh, I don't know uh, what you say. The, the, what? Uh, across, one across. Um, oh, yes, yes. Across. Uh, across is when you cross the street. Okay? Like, uh, for example, uh, you can say that, uh, for example, you can say that uh, Hotel Intercontinental is across from Metro Centro because you cross uh, Metro Centro's sidewalk. It's como get, al cruzar la calle. Ha, exactly, exactly. Al cruzar la yes. calle. Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Yes. Thanks. All right, welcome. Uh, anybody else? Anybody else? Mm, okay, great. So I guess, uh, I guess we'll continue, all right? I guess let's, we're gonna move on. So, here we go. Just... All right, very good. So, now just a few questions for you guys. Let me ask you some. Is there, is there, uh, is there a grocery store near your house? Is there a grocery store in your neighborhood? Yes, yes, in my house. Okay, there, there is in your house, uh, Suma. Okay, and uh, can you tell me where it is, like uh, a little description? Uh, the grocery store is um, in the... On the corner. On, on the, the corner. corner, on the corner, on the, on the corner of um, uh, Atenas Street okay. in Italian Passage. Passage. Okay, yeah, Passage. you call it. We don't have Passage in English. <laughs> That's a very Spanish because we have like houses in small places. Yes, we don't have that in English. Don't worry. So, yes. And uh, what about you? Is there a barber shop near, uh, near you, uh, Carlos? Okay, sorry. Tenía apagado el micrófono. It's okay. Don't worry. Um, in my neighborhood, uh, the barber shop is it's uh, como digo, está bastante retirado. It's very far. Uh, I'm it's very much. far. Yeah, very, very far. far. Like in, do you remember in Shrek, far, far away. So you can say away. it's not it's not very far far away, but it's very <laughs> far. Okay? okay, very far. Very Thank far. you. It's All right, welcome. Okay, uh, so it's very far. It's very far from you. Okay, and uh, Fatima, is there a beauty salon near your home? Is there a beauty salon in your neighborhood? No. There it's very far. <laughs> uh, okay, great. Thank you. And um, Miguel, is there a grocery store near your house? No, wait, wait, you're mute. Okay, go. Uh, yes, uh, sorry. See, okay. uh, no, I'm far, I far away uh, from, from me. It's far away from you. Okay, 
I get you. Thank you very much. All right. Yes, let's continue. All right. So uh, now we're going to check how to answer questions about places in town. All right. So, yes, let's do it. All right. Let's answer, learn how to answer questions about places in town. Okay, look, so for example, this, all right? So we go like, is there a laundromat near here? You know, near here is like when you both are, you both are in the same place, near here, como por aquí, ¿verdad? Near here, okay, you can say near here. And you could go like, yeah, yes, there is, or there is, there is one, across from the shopping center or no there isn't but there is one next to the library so uh, we can answer yes there is a no there isn't okay look are there any Pluto look are there any grocery stores Utilizamos, is there para singular is there a laundromat near here Y utilizamos are there para plurales, ¿ok? Any grocery stores, ¿ok? Más de uno. Are there any grocery stores near here? ¿Ok? Oh, around here. We can use near here or around here. So, look. Oh, yes. There are some nice uh, stores on Pine Street. Or, no, there aren't. But there is some on Third Avenue, or no, there aren't any. No hay ninguna. Okay, no, there aren't any. All right. Uh, we are going to practice prepositions. Okay, so let's practice some prepositions. Look, we have on, on. Okay, next to. Next to. Next, next to. to. Yes. Next to. Near. 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 Or close to. Close, close to. to. Close, close to. They, to. They, are, they mean the same. Significan lo mismo. Okay? Near y close to significan lo mismo. Okay? And look, okay. here we have across from. Across from. Across from. Yeah, across from. And some people say also opposite, right? Opposite. Como al otro lado de la calle, ¿verdad? Opposite or across from. Uh, then we have a uh, in front of. In front of. Yes. In front of. Or uh, we can also say behind. Behind. Is behind. Behind. In back yeah. of. Uh, I'm not quite sure, but I prefer to say behind. No es muy común escuchar in back of. Es, creo que es mejor que digan behind. Es, más, es mucho más común. And then we have a between. Between. Between es como. Cuando, yeah, between. Es como entre. Ok. Entre. Uh, entre o en medio de. Like, uh, for example, uh, you have. You have uh, three buildings. Ok. Tenemos tres edificios. Ok. Tenemos tres edificios. So, for example, uh, you say that, uh, let's say Metro Centro one more time. Uh, you can say that Metro Centro is uh, between Metro Sur and uh, Uno gas station, right? Between, Metro Centro is between uh, Metro Sur and Uno gas station or service station. Okay, so that's between, como en medio de dos. Okay, okay. great. And then we have uh, what Suma asked on the corner of. On the corner of. Corner is una esquina. Okay. Y por lo general, cuando decimos corner of, eh, eh, we, we say the names of the streets. Decimos los nombres de las calles. 
Like, for example, um, let's see a place everybody knows. Mm, let me see. Let's think about a place everybody knows. Okay. Uh, how about uh, how about this one? Um, let me see. Let's think about a place that's very popular and that everybody in the world knows. Pablo. Los oh, yeah. Good, good, good point. Good point. Very good. Uh, for example, uh, Avenida Juan Pablo. Okay. But let, now let's think about something in there. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's see. For example, Burger King. There is a, there is a Burger King in downtown, right? There is a Burger King in downtown, in the centro right there's a burger king in there uh so the burger king uh so burger king is in the corner of uh venida españa and uh alameda juan uh, in the juan pablo segundo right so the burg so burger king is on the corner of juan pablo segundo and avenida españa okay that's on the corner of, and you use it with the names of the streets, generally, with the names of the streets, okay? So, do you understand uh, that one? Do you understand on the corner of? On the corner of? Yes, teacher. Yes? Only, yes? Only, only on our practice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we will, we, we are certainly going to have uh, some... Uh, some practice on this uh, right now, okay? So, uh, we are going to, I'm gonna show you a map. Le voy a compartir un, un mapa. Okay, so you guys can, uh, can have a, a little discussion about uh, directions. Vamos a hablar de, como de, not, not about directions, but rather about, uh, about locations. Vamos a hablar como de, la, de las ubicaciones, okay? And uh, I'm going to show you a map of a city, okay? I'm going to show you a map of a city so you guys can see it and uh, give your examples and, and all. So, let me see. Let me just pull it up. Yes, I'm going to open it for you so you can see it, all right? Uh, and we are going to have more practice Okay, just give me a second and I will open it for you. Okay, let me share it my screen one more time okay look at this uh here we have a a small uh let's say a small town okay a town is como una ciudad un pueblito okay this is a small town it's a very small uh town so now let's talk about the places in here okay uh so, for example, uh, I ask you, uh, is there a library in here? Is there a library here? Yes. Yes. It's in the corner of Cherry Street and Bank Street. Okay, very good. Thank you. So, yes, there is. It is on the corner of Cherry Street and uh bank street Benford. yeah pretty good thank you now uh is there a hospital in this uh city esther yes is the is in the main street it's on main street it's on main street yes okay great thank you oh is it next to the supermarket no, it's no, the next, it's the next to the bookstore. It's next to the bookstore. Next to the bookstore. Next to the bookstore. Yes. Thank you. And uh, Miguel. Yes. All right. Good. Miguel, can you tell me, is there a... 
you, is there a gas station in this uh, city? Where is it? Uh, well, gas station is uh, between Grand Street and Bank Street. El between blah, 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 oh, Green Street. Another, oh, another, uh, I think, uh, behind the library. Behind the library? The uh, library. Okay. Oh, yes. It's near the library. Yeah, it's next to the library. Okay. Next okay. to. Hey, that was good. That was good. Isn't it a a cross school? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, that, that way. First, uh, Miguel. Yes, that's what you meant. Uh, como next to es como a la par. Okay. Oh, okay. Next to. That was, that was good. And uh, yes, Suma, that was, that was correct. It's across from, across from school. the school. school. Yes, that's true. It's across from the school. Great. Very good. Very good. And uh, yes, uh, let's see, let's ask. For, all right, let's ask uh, Georgina. Georgina, uh, can you tell me? Where the Jesus, I asked everything right. Where the coffee uh, shop is? Where's the coffee is shop? On, it's on Main Street, uh, next to a supermarket. All right, it's on Main Street next to the supermarket. Yes, all right, thank you. And uh, let's ask uh, Fatima, Fatima, where is the park? The park is across from the supermarket. It's across from the supermarket. Yeah, we can say that. Or or behind supermarket. Yeah, yeah. Or it's like across from the supermarket, right? Or opposite. Or between. Opposite. Between the Grand Street and Bank Street. Or we can say it's on the corner of okay on the corner of cherry street and uh, bank street bank okay. street yeah it's on the corner of uh, cherry street and bank street great great very good example uh, those are very uh, really very good examples yes okay great uh, now let's ask uh, victor victor can you tell me where the bookstore is, please. Victor? I believe probably he can talk. Okay. But uh, yes, so let's ask uh, somebody else. Carlos, Carlos, uh, can you tell me where the bookstore is? Books, bookstore. It's in Main Street, uh, next to the hospital. All right, it's on Main Street, on, right? It's on, on Main Street. Uh, so look, guys, uh, just uh, one thing uh, about the preposition on and in. Uh, on is, uh, we use the word on for streets, right? We use the word on for streets. Like, uh, for example, uh, we can say that, we can say that uh, the El Magico Stadium is on 49th Avenue, right? It's on 49th Avenue, está en la 49, right? <coughs> El Magico Stadium right. is on, on 49th Avenue and it's in San Salvador. Utilizamos en cuando hablamos como de lugares un poco más así, más generales, como en una, like in the city, like in, we, we speak in general, like in a city, uh, or in a, in a country or region, All right? But we use on for streets, okay? Let okay, us, teacher, let's, let's I got it. Him. Thank you, teacher. All right, cool, cool, cool. Very good. And it's to everyone. It wasn't, it wasn't like to you only yeah great great job guys so uh 
now let's take turns you know let's have more practice so let's practice with uh, this map and uh carlos ask uh, ask any of your friends uh, about any place in this map please and uh, ask somebody who's not participated Teacher, yes. No sé quién no ha participado, pero uh, puedo hacer la, pre la, la pregunta en general y que la conteste el que. Anybody? El... Yes, let's. Okay. Yeah. Good, good. Okay. Where is the the gas station? Yes. All right. And uh, let's have uh, Milton. Can you answer that question, please? Okay. Uh... The gas station. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Yes, the gas. The, okay. The gas station is next to the library. All right. Good. Good. Very good. It's next to the library. Now, uh, Milton, can you ask any of your classmates about the places in town? Okay. Um, Sulma. Okay. Um, uh, what is the park? The park is uh, between Grand Street and Bank, Bank Street. All right, good. Okay, thank you. All right, very good. And uh, yes, let's let's see. Uh, Suma, ask anybody else, please. And please, everybody, when you ask uh, when you ask a question, it's okay to ask where is the or where are, but you can also ask is there any or is is there a is there a library is there a supermarket near here okay vamos a utilizar las frases que escuchamos en la conversación anterior like uh okay. like this okay is okay. there a or are there any in plural right Right, and we use the prepositions, but it's okay to say to say where it is. All right, but we are learning this. Estamos practicando esto, so let's do it. So yes, Suma, please ask anybody. Okay, uh, Nidia, are there any school near uh, near here? Very good, very good. Nidia, are you there? Mm, I guess her microphone is not working. So, can you ask uh, somebody else, please? Repeat the question. Uh, okay. Yes, uh, say it again, please, uh, Suma. Okay, are there any school near here? No, no, no. Are, are there, there mm -hmm. are there any school near here? Yes, like okay. oh yeah, yes. Yes, there are. There is, there is a school across to the gas station. All right. Across from, right? Across, across from, from. from. Very gas good. Station. Yeah, really good. Uh yes, now now, who, who answered this? Milton, was it you? Can you forget us, Mundia? Yeah, okay. Oh, yes, Carlos. So, Carlos, can you ask uh, another classmate about places in this uh, city, please? Um, there are in the city uh, a barbershop. Is there, is there a barbershop? Is there, is there, is there a barbershop? And uh, ask anybody. So select classmate. Okay. Um. M. Morales. Uh, okay. Oh, the there, mic. I answer. 
okay? Yes. Uh, no, their accent, uh, I repeat, is uh, from any, uh, aware from me, far away from me. Uh, they are far away from me, okay? Yes, there isn't a barber shop, right? There isn't a barber shop in town. Okay, very good, very good. So uh, that's how you answer and how you ask questions about places in town, okay? Uh, so okay. yes, uh, the go ahead. Okay, the question from Fatima, uh, well is, uh, are there any hospital in your name? No, there aren't. Okay. All right. Good, good. That's to yourself now. But uh, is there one uh, here in this map, uh, Fatima? In this map, yes. Yes. There. And, and where is it? The hospital is next to bookstore. Next to the bookstore. Okay. It's next to the bookstore. Okay. Great, great. Uh, Fatima, ask another classmate, please. We're practicing this. Okay. And to Esther. All right. Go yes. E is there a library next to coffee shop? No, uh, there isn't. But there's one uh, next to the gas station. Great, great. So, all right, very good, very good. Now, Esther, you just ask any other classmate, please. Uh, somebody who's not participated much. Uh, Georgina, is there a coffee shop near, near here? Yes, there is. Is on main is in the corner of Main Street and Sherry Street. Okay, yes. Very good. It's on the corner up, right? It's on the corner up. Pretty good. Great. Well done. All right, guys. Uh, Will, uh, please ask uh, Georgina. Ask another classmate, please. Okay, but... Um, but um... Ay, Victor, no, Luis Fernando. Okay, great. Bye, para Luis Fernando. Um, is there a laundromat? Repeat. Near here? Is there a laundrom laundromat near here? Oh, excuse me, I don't know what is a laundromat. What, what a laundromat is. A laundromat is where you, uh, where you, wash your clothes when you where you do the laundry like a company where you where you a business a small business where people wash your clothes and you pay for it all the supermarket it's como una lavandería, something like that uh -huh. like a dry clean mm -hmm. so there is there one in this town in this map is there a London? Oh, right. <laughs> I can see that. Oh, so you can say, no, there isn't. No, there isn't. Good, good. That's it. That's it. Very good. Uh, so please, uh, I want, Luis, I, please ask another classmate. Okay. Uh, let me please a minute. To whom? Uh, Carlos. Okay, great. Are there a gas station there? Yes, is next to the library. All right, great. Very good. Very okay. good. All right. So, uh that's good. That's good. I think we are getting the hang of this. Okay. Now, in the next exercise, we are going to we are going to practice describing our neighborhood and our neighbors, all right? We will practice how to describe our neighborhood and 
our neighbors, all right? So look at this conversation. All right, just give me a second. Yes. All right, uh, look at this conversation quickly. In the It's here, okay. So look at this. Look at this question. How do you like your new apartment? All right, how do you like your new apartment? Or probably, how do you like your new house? So let's practice, all right? Let's uh, listen, listen and practice. So let me ask, uh, let me ask uh, Fatima. Fatima, please help me reading this conversation, okay? So we go like this. So uh, how do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Convenient, you say. It's convenient. very convenient. Downtown, is there much noise? Oh, no. There isn't any. I lie on the fifth floor. All right, I live, you say, I live. I live. I live, okay. In the fifth floor, how many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. And what about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garage, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on, that's my car alarm. <laughs> I'll call you back late. Okay, great, great. Well, so look, uh, here we have uh, these questions, okay? And uh, we are going to practice them all right we're going to practice these questions like uh for example how do you like how do you like your you can say your neighborhood how do you like your house all right eso significa uh te gusta tu casa like for example you can say uh yeah i love it and look this one is Downtown. Do you understand downtown? Then in downtown. Yes. Yes. You that? Oh Central. yes. Yes. Central. Yes. The center of a city. True. True that. So it's the center of a city. Okay. Very good. So she goes like downtown. Is there much noise? Is there much? noise like uh how about in san salvador downtown is there much noise from the traffic and the street vendors is there a lot of noise in san salvador downtown yeah yes there is right you hear the, the cars honking think me and the street vendors Yes, so there is there, yeah, there is a lot of noise in there, right? Okay, so it's a uh, very noisy, right? Is there is much noise in there? Okay, great. And look, we can ask how many how many restaurants are there near your place? Hey, look, your place is a different way to say your house, okay? So, uh, for example, uh, I say, hey, uh, let's have a party at my place. So that means, let's have a party at my house, okay? So your place means your house. Got that? Got it? So your place means yes, teacher. your house. Okay, great. 
great, all right. Z, what about parking? There aren't many parking garages. Parking garages. Some people call them like parking lots, okay? Parking garages, all right? And look, crime, crime. Okay, look, we're going to do this. Uh, we are going to work in uh, small groups. We're going to work in small groups and ask uh, the questions here. All right, so I'm going to take a picture. Vamos a, vamos a tomar una foto. I'm going to take a picture of this. And you guys practice it. All right, so just give me one second. So I'm going to take a picture of it so everybody has it there. Right, and uh, it's in your group. So uh, we are going to work in in small groups, okay? And uh, ask questions about your neighborhood like this. How do you like your, you can change. Yeah, as I said before, you can change your neighborhood for your, uh, I mean, your apartment for your neighborhood, your house or your city. It's okay. And you can say, oh, I love it. I like it. And look, we can use words like convenient. Okay, adjetivos or words like convenient. You know, or safe, right? Convenient is like when you say, es como muy céntrico, like, like everything is near you. Okay, like everything is near. Todo lo tiene cerca, right? Like there's a mall here, there's a gas station over there, and there's a and, and everything is around. All right, look, we can use near your place. And what about parking? What about parking? Pueden preguntar sobre otras cosas también. Like what about I don't know, as anything else. Okay, what about parking? What about uh what about safety or what about crime? All right? And is there much crime? Hmm. Okay, so let's ask uh, these questions in uh, in small groups, and uh, we share our answers uh, later. Okay, so let's okay. make small groups. All right, there we go. Please uh, accept my invitation. Mike, please join a group. It's fine. Start on your place. Uh, only one. Um, pregunto yo. Of course. Is there is there a mall near in your your house? Excuse me. Is there near a uh, mall of your house? Your question was okay. Estaba bien su pregunta, uh, Georgina. Is... Yeah, yeah, continue, continue, please. It isn't. Oh, there is, there isn't. There is, mm -hmm. there is, there is not. Mm -hmm. There okay. isn't any, right? There isn't any. 
there isn't any. All right, very good. We have some small places, but there are no uh, too big to call it a mall. Okay, great. That's good. Good answer. All right, continue talking. All right. Great, great, great. So, sure. uh, yeah, continue. Okay. Esther, how many markets are on your place? Uh, I I have uh, market. Uh, I have one is a little close. Is uh, Mercadito Maria. Oh, there, so you can say there is there is, there one, is one near me. Near here. Yeah, Merc and you give more details. Uh, El Mercadito de Merliot, for example. El Mercadito de Merliot, uh, five minutes to my house. Uh, it's five minutes from. It's five from minutes my from my house. Great, great, very good. Now it's your turn. Now ask uh, Esther, please. Um, let me see. Uh, are there any grocery store uh, around your neighborhood? Uh, M. Morales? My uh, yes. yes, they are. There are. They, yes, How there many? are. How How many? Many? Uh, well, uh, five, maybe. <laughs> A lot of yeah, there are lots of them. Yes. Where where do you live, Mike? In Colonia Atlacat. Oh yes, yes, there are many malls around I mean many supermarkets around. Yes. All right, very good. Very good, Mike. Okay. Yeah, I'll check on the other group. Wait a minute, other group. Okay. Thank you, Sister. So all right, welcome. You continue talking, okay? Okay. Great. I work in Olaquilta. Oh, then, oh, great. <laughs> there is not too much pupusaria there. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Um, how about the, um, let, let me, Parky. What is the, um, you have uh, any there... problem for the parking? How many? Uh, there are in, there are many parker garage uh, near in the um, in your city. Mm, no, there isn't. There is no issue with the parking. I can park in the street. On the street. Good, good, very good. How about the cream? Uh, uh, is there much cream? Crime? Crime. Yeah. Crime. Yeah. There is no much cry in my city. It's a very safe uh, city. Okay, how are you, um, Victor? In my case. Just, just. Uh, there, there is. I'm right. sorry. So there is isn't in my in my city. Much. Okay. Okay. That's much it. crime. Mm -hmm. Great. Very good. Very good, guys. All right. I think we will return to the main session. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Well, Thank you. Welcome. Great. Let's do it. All right, so let's see, is everybody back? Yes, uh, yeah, mainly. Okay, oh, great, great. So yes, all right, people are still coming back. Okay, uh, very good, very good. So uh, yes, let's continue talking and practicing your conversations uh, were very interesting yes they they were 
your conversations were very interesting. Uh, though now we are going to uh, check. You know, we're going we're going to check some uh, some things in there. All right. So, see me one second here. All right. So uh, first, first uh, you say uh, parking garages. Okay. Garage es uno, ¿verdad? En singular, garage. Y el plural es garages, ¿ok? Garages. Así se como jizz, jizz. ¿Ok? And uh, remember questions, ¿ok? Use a question for order, ¿ok? Like, is there a restaurant near your house or are there any are there any restaurants near your house so we can use uh any okay are there any restaurants near your house it's another option okay it's another option look at this the boy uh, let me share my my screen with uh with with uh, some information about that. Look, right? Are there many restaurants? Yes, there are a lot or a few. There aren't many. There aren't any. Okay, no hay ninguno. Many or any significa ninguno. There are none. También significa ninguno. None. None. And none is okay. You can use none. Then it's no problem. Uh, and look how many restaurants are there. But uh, there are 10 or 12. So uh, we use this for count nouns. Tomorrow we have more information about count and non-count nouns. Mañana vamos a repasar los count and non-count nouns un poco más con más detalle. Okay. But in a, in a nutshell, así como en, como en resumen, los uh, count nouns son sobre cosas que podemos contar. Por ejemplo, are there many restaurants? O sea, hay varios restaurantes. Restaurants. You can pluralize it. Lo hace plural, ¿verdad? Many restaurants. Okay? So, uh, es en plural. Hay muchos, hay muchos restaurantes, right? Plural. How about here? Is there much Crime, el crimen no se puede contabilizar en sí. O sea, the, the name, el sustantivo, the name or the noun, uh, crime, cannot be pluralized in this way. Entonces, estamos hablando de un concepto, de una idea. So, we cannot make it plural. Entonces, utilizamos estos, uh, estos uh, quantifiers for it. Utilizamos estos como estas frases, like there is a lot, there is a little, there isn't much, there isn't any, and there is none. You were using these words, and that was really good. Many, ustedes estaban utilizando muchas de esas palabras. It was very good. So you continue practicing them, and we will have more practice with uh, on, on this tomorrow, too. Okay? And let's try to use it now. Le voy a hacer unas cuantas preguntas. And uh, please, try to use it, uh, try to use these, uh, these uh, quantifiers uh, now. So let's see. Let me ask you, are there any, are there any gas stations uh, near your, uh, near your neighborhood, uh, Fatima? Fatima, are you there? Can you hear me? And let's unmute. All right. Oh, no, yeah. me. Excuse me. That's and okay. no, there aren't any gas okay. stations near Great. here. Great. Very good. Very good. And is there much crime in your in your neighborhood, uh, Georgina? Yes, there are a little. 
There is a little in yours, uh, Carlos. Okay. Oh, perdón, right. tenía. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I don't know if Georgina could hear me. Georgina, are you there? Yes, yes. Yes, I, yeah. And uh, is there much yes. crime near you? Yes, there are a lot. There is a lot. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, got you. Okay, there is a little in my neighborhood, but around my neighborhood, there is a lot. Okay, great. Um, let's see, let's ask, uh, let's ask uh, Miguel. Miguel, uh, are there many, uh, many supermarkets around your neighborhood? Uh, yes, there are a lot. Okay, there are a lot. Great, great, Mike. All right, and uh, let's see, let's ask, uh, Victor, can you talk? Is your microphone working today? No, it's not working. Yeah, uh, it's not working. Okay, that, that, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, let's ask uh, Milton. Milton, is there a lot of pollution in your neighborhood? Do you understand the pollution? No, there is no a lot of pollution. There, there is, isn't. Uh, uh, is mucha población or uh, la contamination? Uh, yeah, pollution, the contamination, right? Yes. Uh, pollution. No, there is no a lot of pollution. There isn't. Okay, it's very clean. You can say, oh, it's very clean. All right. <laughs> yeah, good, good. Well done, well um, done. <laughs> all, right. all right, you guys. Uh, so... I think uh, we call it a day here. Vamos a terminar acá, right? But uh, don't forget to practice, okay? No olviden siempre practicar. And uh, you can, wait a second. Uh, you can do knowledge check. Pueden ir haciendo ya los, el knowledge, los primeros knowledge check de esta, de esta unidad of this uh, section, all right? So, to have more practice, okay? ¿Cuál sería, teacher, perdón, cuál sería la, sec la sección eh, que deberíamos estar terminando? Uh, in this uh, week, we're going to finish section three and four. So, we have okay. one more section only for next week. Me detuve un poco más en la sección 1 y 2, porque como son sobre el pasado, ¿verdad? Entonces el pasado es un tema como un poco, un poco, eh, un poco complicado. Más difícil. Ajá, entonces sí. sí, nos vamos a quedar ahí. Y luego tenemos, y vamos a tener... Yes, we do have class. We do have class. Have a good night. Have a good night. Stay safe. Okay. Good Goodbye. Bye. See you. See Bye. you. Bye. Goodbye.